Hello, welcome to my video. This is a guide of how to take an auxiliary fuel supply from a Transit, Transit Custom or a Transit Connect. Normally you'll be doing this if you're fitting a diesel heater or an engine preheater. To do this you'll need a fuel straw kit that includes a fuel quick connector and the fuel straw. See the link in the description if you want to get that from us. For this demonstration I've mounted a sender unit on the bench. It's very difficult to see the top of the tank even once you've dropped it unless you're taking the tank out completely. This is the auxiliary fuel port which is already built into the sender unit. It's a sealed piece of plastic and you need to nip the top off with a Stanley knife and then you can drop the straw in. So first of all, best to give it a good clean, make sure you don't get any dust or contamination into the fuel tank. Also important, make sure you get a decent seal on your fuel connection. So I like to use a Stanley knife take this off it's best to have a brand new blade as, as it can be quite difficult to take this off this will obviously be done with your arms stuck on the top of the tank and you can't really see it it's quite tough plastic so you do need to push quite a bit to get through it and there you go that's the top taken off I think I cracked that a little bit there so I'm just gonna take off the edge a little bit there make sure it's got a smooth smooth face for a seal and I'm happy with that. The fuel straw works because it's got a small seal on the end. It's important that this surface is smooth and flat to allow the straw to seal correctly. When I install these, I generally add a small amount of rubber grease or Vaseline to make sure that you've got a nice clean sealing face. I also add the nylon and the rubber fuel hose and do up the hose clips before clipping them onto this. And that allows you just to thread it up to the top of the tank and you can clip it in. I'd also recommend throwing away the cheap spring clips that come with the Chinese diesel heaters and replacing them with proper hose clips. It's important to make sure that the fuel tube doesn't have too much of a bend or a kink on it. As it goes in it's already at an angle so it should miss the actual sender unit but if it did have a bend you could get an issue of it hitting the pump. 